Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but you know what I have wondered about? Urinals. Urinals confuse the heck out of me. You could be going to the bathroom next to a complete stranger and you could just look over. I know you don't. I know you're not supposed to. But like at any moment, like you're going to the bathroom next to somebody. And I know you're not supposed to pick the urinal right directly next to somebody. Like you're supposed to leave the urinal in between. Like that's etiquette. But like, can somebody explain this to me? I would choose a stall every time. I don't know. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but I do wonder why my wife can't put caps on anything the right way. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but sometimes I wonder why one of my students last week told me that I looked like a grandma and I said, okay, rude, but your grandma? And they said, no, a grandma. I said, who's grandma? They said, oh, just someone I used to know. Who did you used to know? You're four years old. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but I have wondered why Chris Harrison from The Bachelor wrote like some erotic ass book. Yeah, I bought it and I'm gonna see if it's good, but why did he do that? Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Nope, but I do wanna know why it's gonna take a whole last month to find a man guilty for a murder that we've seen on video a hundred thousand times. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but I do wonder how men know what handshake to use with each other. How do you guys know? Even with a stranger, sometimes it's a handshake, sometimes it's a grab pull, sometimes it's a hug. You guys always seem to know. Is it stressful? Uh, it would be bad for me. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Hmm, no. But I have been wondering, why is it that I do my makeup the exact same way every single day? And some days it looks like really good, and some days it looks legitimately awful. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but I have wondered, do single people live longer than married people, or does it just feel longer when you're married? I got questions. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Never once, not even slightly. But how do doctors know we're supposed to have eight glasses of water every day? Like, that's a lot. I think they're vastly overestimating our abilities. And I have a small bladder, so all I hear when they say that is a lot of bathroom breaks. Now, if they said eight Capri Suns, that would make sense because not only do they taste better, but like it's it's not as much. And so it's a lot easier. Even as a kid, I was able to hammer those things out, you know? Also, why why is Sprite so good? Like the other pops kind of suck, but like Sprite really be doing something different. Especially for McDonald's. Like, why do they taste different? Aren't they all the same thing? Do do that. Do ex explain that to me. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but sometimes I do wonder why I can drink a whole bottle of wine one night and wake up the next day and be fine. And then the very next night I drink a whole bottle of wine and then I wake up and I feel like hell. Maybe he's drinking a whole bottle of wine? Nah. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Nope, but I have wondered why parents try to justify the things they do that make their children's lives more difficult. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, I haven't wondered that, but I do wonder why people spend thousands of dollars on Botox surgery, plastic surgery, skincare, but just still don't wear sunscreen. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. I just want to know how eight glasses of water in a day is fucking impossible, but 12 pack of Miller Light in three hours goes down like a fat kid on a seesaw. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Actually, I don't. I really don't. This my shit. But what I do wonder, I really wonder, why the fuck flower and flower spell differently when they both plants? Well, they're not both really plants, but they both got plant in them. A flower is a plant, and flower has weed in it, which is a grain, which is a plant. Makes me wonder, man. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but I do wonder every day. Why am I still single? Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but why did God make cancer? That's not cool, dude. Not at all. What the hell? Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next No, but I have wondered why bugs can fall off of buildings and not break their legs or die. If I fall off a step ladder that's 10 foot high, I break both legs. These things can fall off of a 10-story building and be just fine. 
Also, I wonder why when you're walking through a field, you can get a web in your face. The spider doesn't climb up a tree on one side of the field, hook his web, climb down, cross the field, climb up another tree, and attach it. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Uh, no, sorry, I don't care about the water. But what I do want to know is how come when women have dreams about their men, they get pissed at the men for what happens in their dream. That's your dream. That's got nothing to do with us. You should be mad at yourself in your mind. Leave us out of it. Why, why, why do you piss at us? What we do? What we do? Riddle me that. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? You know, I can honestly say, I've never thought about that. But have you ever wondered how high I can kickflip? The answer is pretty damn. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? One of uh, no, not so much, but I have wondered why chicks go to the bathroom together in groups, like literal groups. Like in my mind, I'm picturing four or five chicks going into the bathroom together and then like one of them enters the stall and, you know, she pulls her shit down and she's sitting there not able to pee. So maybe the other four or five chicks outside of the stall are like, you can do this. Push. Push. You know? Um, and, and then eventually the girl inside the stall is able to finally urinate. And then they take turns. I don't know if this is true, but this is what I wonder. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? No, but I do wonder why we buy round pizzas in square boxes and cut them into triangle slices. Somebody tell me why. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? Is it because little leprechauns sneak into my house late at night, find that cup of water, jump in, take a bath, swim around, and then hop out? I always thought it tasted funny. Have you ever wondered why when you leave water out overnight, it doesn't taste as good the next morning? One of the reasons is that as water is left out, it absorbs a little bit of the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide in the water will react to form carbonic acid, which will break down into more hydrogen ions. If you remember from chemistry, more hydrogen ions means that it is more acidic, thus has a lower pH. So one of the reasons the water tastes funny is that it's slightly more acidic. Now imagine a really big glass of water, like the ocean. It's going through this exact same process as well, so more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere means more carbon dioxide in the water, making it more acidic. And that's what ocean acidification is. Stitch this and tell me something you ate as a kid because you didn't have any other food in the house. Mine is so Gen X. Sometime in the 1980s, Reagan decided that poor people shouldn't have even food stamps, and so he started giving us blocks of cheese 